The story begins on the set, the director and other workers have already spent more than one take to capture spectacular shots of the chase. At some point, a signal sounded, which announced the next attempt, immediately after which the actress in the car turned on first gear. Her name was Ning Shi, she was a pretty young girl with very long blonde hair, she was lucky to be the main character in this movie. But with a slight amendment, in fact, the heroine works as a stunt double for the actress who plays the main female role. Due to one person's very poor management, Ning Shi had to perform the same trick many times, this was already the 18th attempt. In addition, the scene itself is very dangerous, in which the heroine must drive a car at full speed through strong explosions. After some time, the main director announced that the next take had been filmed, this time everything turned out just flawlessly. Once upon a time, the heroine was switched at birth, because of this, another girl lived the life that rightfully belongs to Ning Shi. The other girl's name was Ning Shui Luo, she was the one who constantly found flaws in the footage, the beauty always didn't like something. This time she wanted a real bomb to be placed in the background, because in her opinion the smoke bombs did not look realistic. In fact, the man didn't want to do this, the scene was already difficult, the car could have turned over if someone else had been driving. Ning Shi quickly realized that her rival was trying with all her might to kick her out of the film, but the heroine was no longer the little girl she was a few years ago. The girl had recently returned from abroad and was about to become a popular actress, she would never be stopped by some cowardly Ning Shui Luo. Suddenly, an unknown black car burst onto the set, this was definitely not a scene from a movie, so everyone around was very surprised. The car drove on as if nothing had happened, apparently there were criminals inside who were trying to escape from the police. The heroine decides to take everything into her own hands and get behind the wheel of a sports car standing nearby, not a single villain will be able to escape her. As it turned out, Ning Shi can drive a car perfectly not only in films, she easily managed to catch up with the offenders. At some point, one of the villains lowered the window and took out his pistol, now he wanted to get rid of his pursuer as quickly as possible. The bullet flew straight towards the heroine, despite the fact that the girl did not expect this, she was not at all scared and continued to confidently press on the gas. Fortunately, Ning Shi managed to dodge, the cartridge flew just a few centimeters from her head and pierced the seat upholstery. In fact, now the beauty wanted to punish the villains even more, because if they have weapons, they can harm other people. A few seconds later, the heroine managed to overtake the villain's car, she sacrificed an expensive sports car to block their path. As a result, an accident occurred, Ning Shi's technique turned out to be very effective, she successfully stopped the lawbreakers, now they will not run away anywhere. The girl herself was not harmed at all, these fools clearly did not know who they were dealing with, they need a lot more experience to play with weapons in front of her. Ning Shi got out of her car and approached the villains, as it turned out, they both lost consciousness, now they need to call the police as soon as possible. Suddenly, the heroine heard a strange noise coming from the trunk, it resembled the ticking of an explosive device. First of all, the girl decided to look there, what she saw caused her a strong feeling of anxiety, were these scoundrels really so ruthless? As it turned out, there was a little boy sitting inside in pajamas, a bomb was attached to his clothes, only a few seconds left before activation. This child looked very cute, Ning Shi was very happy that he was not hurt, first of all we need to somehow calm him down. The girl asked him not to be afraid, his older sister would help him, the boy just had to trust her and then everything would be fine. After this, the heroine removed a piece of tape, because of which the child could not speak, he was very scared, but at the same time he held on with all his might. Meanwhile, the countdown continued on the timer. In any case, a special tool would be required to deactivate the explosives. Fortunately, there was a box nearby, in which Ning Shi found small scissors, they were quite suitable for such a task. Now the little boy just had to remain calm and not move, soon everything would be over and he would return to his parents. At some point, the child in pajamas finally calmed down and smiled, he was no longer scared at all because his older sister was nearby. In fact, it is quite difficult to disarm such a device, it is a military time bomb, the thief is clearly not so simple. To be honest, Ning Shi understood little about this topic, but now no one but her could help the boy, so the girl simply trusted her intuition. And today she did not let her down, after the heroine cut the green wire, the timer immediately disappeared, 
and now the child is in no danger. Immediately after this, a man turned to her and ordered her to stop immediately, he called the boy his little treasure. Most likely this man is the natural father of the kidnapped child, but did he really think that Ning Shi was trying to harm him somehow? As soon as the man came closer, he immediately pushed the girl aside, he really wanted to see his son as soon as possible. However, this did not change the fact that he was behaving very uncivilly, after all, the heroine had just saved the life of his little treasure. In the end, the father calmed down a little and turned to Ning Shi, he was wondering how a young girl could be so knowledgeable about bombs. In truth, the heroine knew very little about explosives, in fact, she was just lucky and managed to cut the right wire in time. This man's name was Lu Ting Xiao, he was very angry when he heard this, didn't the girl understand how dangerous it was? In response to this, the heroine was a little surprised, but soon calmly explained the whole situation, there were only a few seconds left before the explosives were activated. At the same time, Ning Shi was very upset, doesn't this fool understand that it was only thanks to her that the child survived, his father should be much more polite. In the end, the man simply takes his son and leaves, and he promises to give the girl a monetary reward for her help. However, if she comes close to his little treasure even once more, he will immediately complain to the police and the heroine will be sent to prison. If Lu Ting Xiao really thinks Ning Shi is a bad person, then she doesn't even want to take his dirty money, it's better to keep it for herself. These words greatly hurt the man, he wanted to once again reproach the heroine for her lack of foresight, but at that moment something very bad happened. The little boy, who had been sitting in his arms all this time, for some reason lost consciousness, and his father was very scared because of this. And he immediately ordered his assistants to take him and his son to the nearest hospital, perhaps the kidnapper's poison child. Soon, Lu Ting Xiao and all his assistants left, and Ning Shi simply watched them go, now she was thinking that there were too many strange things in the world. After some time, the girl returned back to the set, as it turned out, the sports car belonged to her rival. Ning's assistant Shui Luo immediately began to scold the heroine, this car was a gift for her boss from her fiancé, it costs incredible money. Ning Shi also received a lot of insults, she was called poor and assured that her whole life would not be enough for her to compensate for the damage. And the girl, in turn, reacted quite calmly, a broken car is nothing compared to the life of a small child. Even in such a situation, Ning Shui Luo behaved very arrogantly, she is ready to forgive the heroine only if Ning Shi pays her 10 million. It was an incredibly vile act, this girl already beat Ning Shi's fiancé away, and now she's also demanding a huge sum from her. The heroine recommended that her rival simply steal this money, because she was used to taking someone else's property, Ning Shui Luo was furious at what she heard. The rival wanted to hit Ning Shi, but at the very last moment someone prevented her, a strong man's hand grabbed the girl's wrist. As it turned out, it was Lu Ting Xiao, he told her to stop immediately, Ning Shui Luo in turn could not believe her eyes. This man was an unsurpassed aristocrat, who was the first candidate for the inheritance of his clan, everyone in the city knew him. After that, Lu Ting Xiao asked the girl what she was now going to do with the savior of his little treasure. At first, Ning Shui Luo didn't believe it, because she always considered the heroine to be absolutely useless, how did she manage to save the aristocrat's child? The man continued to stand his ground and offered to compensate the girl for the damage, but the repair of her car could be estimated at a maximum of 1 million. Even though Ning Shui Luo expected to get more, she had to agree, and the aristocrat abruptly grabbed Ning Shi's hand and pulled her along. Everyone present on the set was very surprised when this happened, Lu Ting Xiao noticed that this was just a business relationship. Subsequently, the director sharply changed his attitude towards the heroine, now he was ready to give her the main role in his next theatrical work. Although the girl did not understand why her friend was behaving this way, she still thanked him for his help, he helped her a lot in that situation. But what does Lu Ting Xiao want from her in the end, the man clearly did this for a reason, the beauty decided to ask him about it directly. In turn, the aristocrat was in no hurry to answer, only after a while he collected his thoughts and explained that his son was now in the hospital. The boy very strongly asked to find the same older sister who saved him, only in this way would the child agree to undergo examination. He cried loudly all the time and refused to do what the doctors told him, no one could calm him down, not even the most experienced nurses. In fact, Ning Shi expected a completely different answer, 
she had a beautiful story in her head about how an aristocrat fell in love with her. At the same time, the man continued to behave rather rudely, it seemed to him that the heroine had a bad influence on his son, but now she should be next to him. Soon they arrived at the hospital and the little boy finally calmed down, none of the workers could understand how the girl managed to do this. The aristocrat stood outside the door near his son's chamber for quite a long time and watched, he also could not find any explanation for this. Immediately after Ning she entered the child's room, he quickly calmed down and began to laugh, and the girl's maternal instinct seemed to kick in. After some time, one of Lu Ting Zhao's assistants reported very important news, his boy was kidnapped by the same gang they had already met two years ago. Now everything became clear to the man, he had no doubt that behind all this again there was a villain, whom everyone called the Black Mundle. The remaining half of the day passed quite calmly, the little treasure is no longer in danger, the older sister will now look after him. The heroine did not come to him empty-handed, her favorite fruit since childhood was an orange, so she thought that the child would like it too. When the boy picked up the fruit, he became even more cheerful, apparently Ning she guessed right and the little treasure really loves citrus fruits. If a stranger looked at these two now, he would most likely mistake Ning Shi for his mother, and the boy for her own son, they looked so cute together. Despite this, the girl was still sad that the child's father did not like her, why did she not please this stupid aristocrat? At some point, the heroine notices that the boy is unable to peel the fruit and decides to help him, suddenly someone joins them. As soon as the man entered the ward, he immediately introduced himself, his name is Lu Jingli, he is the younger brother of Lu Ting Xiao. The guy came here as soon as he found out about what had happened, the bodyguards also told him that a relative had brought the heroine here in his car. It was hard to believe, but Ning Shi was the first woman to sit in the passenger seat of an aristocrat's car, such an event can be recorded in history. Unexpectedly for the girl, Lu Jingli hinted that she and his brother were now dating, but the heroine only blushed and began to deny everything. When the little boy noticed the confusion on his older sister's face, he quickly took his small tablet and began to diligently write something on it. In fact, the child did not want the girl to be sad, so he explained to his uncle that no one was allowed to mock her. It really worked, Lu Jingli voluntarily gave in and admitted that he was wrong, he didn't want to offend his big sister at all. After this, Ningxi wondered why the little boy was using a writing board to communicate, could he really not be able to talk? Most likely, this is indeed true, because the child did not say a word the entire time, and for some reason he was also a little embarrassed. Perhaps the boy thought that his behavior looked a little ridiculous from the outside, but in fact the heroine began to appreciate him even more. She was sincerely grateful to the little treasure for his help, only that he protected her, as if a real knight from old fairy tales. After some time, Lu Ting Xiao came to them, the man was surprised at how easily this girl was able to make friends with all his relatives. At the same time, the aristocrat still looked incredibly serious, it seemed that he still had some complaints against Ning Shi. The heroine tried to behave naturally and greeted the man, and she also asked if she had the opportunity to help the child in any other way. In fact, everything now depends only on the boy, now he needs to behave obediently and do what the doctors tell him. For some reason, the little treasure didn't want to do anything even now, he just clung to the heroine and refused to leave. The aristocrat was already quite tired of this behavior, they recently agreed that if his older sister came to see him, he would undergo an examination. When the boy heard this, he immediately felt a little awkward, because the father really fulfilled his request, the child really should agree to the procedure. In the end, Lu Ting Xiao turned to his younger brother and asked him to look after the boy, they needed to get tested as soon as possible. After they left, the man was left alone with Ning Shi, besides them, there was only one bodyguard in the room, the girl decided to take advantage of the moment. And she asked the aristocrat why his little son always uses a board and a pencil to communicate, can he really not speak? After a short pause, the man confirmed this guess, as it turned out, these were the consequences of an incident that occurred several years ago. Then the small treasure was stolen for the first time, in order to minimize the risks, Lu Ting Xiao asks the heroine to move to their home. This way everyone can be safe and the boy will be happy, but the girl does not agree to such radical steps. In her opinion, this is completely wrong, they only know each other for a few hours, what will others think about her? Despite this, the aristocrat calmly asked his assistant to move all of Ning Shi's things into the trunk of the car, 
today she is spending the night with them. It was very rude of him, but the heroine apparently could no longer refuse, today was a very strange day for her. At the last moment, she once again tried to change Lu Ting Zhao's decision, but the man seemed to not even listen to her, she would have to agree. In turn, the aristocrat claimed that he was doing this out of good intentions, because the gang that kidnapped the boy was very dangerous. And the girl crossed their path today, so now she is also in danger, next time she should take two bodyguards with her. Ning Shi considered this unnecessary, she was more worried about the profession of an actress, because rumors that she was dating a famous aristocrat could very quickly spread throughout the city. When Lu Ting Xiao heard this, he thought a little, talking about their relationship could really hinder him a lot. This was the last chance for the heroine, she tried to persuade the man to the conclusion that the plan to move her would bring too many problems. However, everything turned out to be much worse. Lu Ting Xiao suggested that she publicly declare that they had been dating for a long time and were going to get married. This way, no one will have any questions, because it is normal for a girl to live with her fiancé and use his bodyguard. All this time, Jing Li and his little nephew were spying on them, the elder brother is indeed a very lonely man, his ability to meet girls is at a very low level. Suddenly, the man asked the boy, whose name was Lu Xiao Bao, by the way, if he wanted his older sister to become his mother someday. In response to this, the child shook his head approvingly, if he really wants this, then the child must do one thing right now. Meanwhile, the argument continued in the hospital room, the heroine did not want to move into the aristocrat's house until the very end, she is not even afraid of villains. Suddenly the girl felt someone grab her dress, she looked down and noticed that a little boy had come to her. He looked at her with very sad eyes, he somehow managed to explain all his feelings to Ning Shi even without using words. After this, the heroine could no longer refuse, so the next morning she woke up in the family mansion of a famous aristocrat. She felt a little unusual, but the girl tried to behave as usual, fortunately all her things had already been moved to the new room. As soon as Ning Shi stepped out into the corridor, Lu Xiao Bao immediately ran to her and hugged her tightly, he really became very attached to this girl. All this time she was frightened by the thought that the boy was being kidnapped for the second time, could there really be such cruel people in this world? After all, it could very well be sold at auction or demanded a ransom for it, which is probably why the little treasure behaves this way. After a while, the boy calmed down a little, Ning Shi sat down on her knees and asked why he was so scared, maybe he had a nightmare. Unfortunately, Lu Xiao Bao, as usual, did not answer anything, but simply pressed himself even closer to his older sister, now they need to go downstairs. After all, his father and uncle are there, the men had already been sitting in the living room for quite a long time and were actively discussing something, at first they didn't even notice Ning Shi. Only after a while did the aristocrats pay attention to her and greeted her, while Lu Ting Xiao still looked very stern. But Lu Jingli wanted to help the heroine and tried to take his nephew in his arms, but for some reason the boy pushed his hand away. He probably became so attached to the girl that he didn't want to leave her even a meter, he sincerely wanted her to become his mother. At some point, Ning Shi tells the owner of the mansion that it is time for her to leave, because she does not have the opportunity to stay in this house for another day. Lu Jingli asks the heroine to wait a little with the decision, they agreed that she would stay with the boy for some time. In fact, the girl only stayed for one day because of a small treasure, but now she needs to return to her work as an actress. If the brothers really want to thank her, then they should give Ning Shi a monetary reward and just let her go. Lu Ting Xiao continued to remain silent, so his younger brother had to speak for him, they thought the monetary reward was a bad idea. All of these seemed like excuses, after all, the heroine doesn't mind being thanked with a good sum, and in general she didn't promise anything to anyone. Hearing this, Lu Xiao Bao was very upset, the little boy saw this girl as a real heroine, would Ning Shi really just leave like that? At some point, Lu Ting Xiao finally began to speak, the man suddenly proposed to Ning Shi to enter into an official marriage, this was very unexpected. Therefore, the girl at first thought that she simply misunderstood everything, she turned to the aristocrat and asked him to repeat his words again. Despite this, Lu Ting Xiao fell silent again, now even his brother could not explain everything properly, and the heroine stood in complete bewilderment. Only after some time did Ning Shi ask if the man was really going to devote his life to her because she saved Lu Xiao Bao in that situation. In response to this, the aristocrat remained silent again, 
the situation turned out to be very strange, the girl at some point thought that the man was sick with something. First of all, they need to think carefully about everything, after all, marriage is an important event, not a child's game, and Lu Ting Xiao is serious. To be honest, the heroine always thought that the aristocrat didn't like girls at all, because he always behaved like an eccentric. These words made Lu Jingli laugh very much, after all, his older brother is really very inept with women. In fact, if Lu Ting Xiao didn't like women, he wouldn't have had a son, and he also asked Ning Shi to become his wife. Immediately after this, for some reason the aristocrat asked his younger brother to take the small treasure and go with him to the second floor. Suddenly the man began to unbutton the buttons on his shirt, most likely he wanted to prove the seriousness of his intentions. At this moment, the owner of the house looked like he was crazy, so Ning Shi explained that it was all a misunderstanding, now she was confident in Lu Ting Xiao. And now she has urgent matters, the girls need to return to their apartment as soon as possible and pick up something from there. When she left, the owner of the house noticed the physical form of the heroine, it seems that she plays sports quite often. In fact, Lu Ting Xiao looked more and more closely at the girl, now he really wanted to start a relationship with her. After this, the events are transferred to Ning Shi's apartment, unexpectedly for herself, the heroine meets a woman there who is Ning Shui Luo's manager. The girl was very surprised that this person was here, they had not agreed to meet, had something really happened? Ning Shui Luo's manager's name was Chang, she called Ning Shi many times, but the girl never answered, so the woman decided to find her. This was not the best time to talk, so Ning Shi simply said that her phone battery had died and it had turned off. However, the matter was very important, it turned out that the heroine had applied for an audition for the main role in a film called The Land Under Heaven. The main problem is that Ning Shui Luo will also go to dry this role, does the girl really want to make a mess? In turn, Ning Shi did not see any problem in this, apparently the little princess is afraid that the main role will be taken away from her. The woman tried to prove to her that the role would most likely go to Ning Shui Luo, because she has connections in the leadership, it's better for the heroine to forget about it. To be honest, Ning Shi no longer wanted to continue this conversation, if the woman had nothing more to say, then she had better quickly go home. This situation made Chang very angry, because in her opinion the heroine is behaving stupidly, in a couple of days she will be able to see this for herself. Soon the woman leaves the girl's apartment, at the last moment she closed the door so loudly that the lock jammed on the back side. From Ning Shi's reaction, it becomes clear that this is not the first time this has happened, she should have fixed this cheap furniture a long time ago. To confirm her guess, she came closer and pulled the handle several times, the door was indeed locked. Despite all the failures, the girl continued to smile, such trifles would never spoil her mood, she would achieve her goal in any case. First of all, she needed to fix the broken door, fortunately, she had a special tool at hand, namely a hand drill. Although the girl looks like an ordinary actress, Ning Shi has never been afraid to get her hands dirty, and it won't be difficult for her to fix everything. The process took some time, for several minutes the heroine was completely concentrated on the process, now it is better not to distract her. After a couple of minutes everything was ready, the girl was very pleased with her work and immediately decided to check how well the door opened. Suddenly she saw Lu Ting Xiao and the little treasure in front of her, Ning Shi was surprised by what she saw, how did he even know about this apartment? Moreover, now was not the most opportune moment, because the girl got a little dirty during repairs, why did the aristocrat decide to come here? In fact, it was Lu Xiao Bao's initiative, the boy was again very upset because his older sister left him. It turned out that the child simply refused to eat and take the necessary medications that doctors prescribed for his recovery. When the heroine tried to invite guests into the house, her repaired door suddenly fell to the floor, causing a lot of dust to rise into the air. The situation turned out to be very ridiculous, now the girl needs to come up with some kind of story in order to somehow explain everything. Unfortunately, Ning Shi didn't succeed, so she simply invited Lu Ting Xiao and the boy to go to the bathroom to wash off the dust. While the guests were in the shower, the owner of the apartment decided to sit on the sofa and watch TV for a while, she wanted to sleep more than anything else. At some point, a man came into her room, and he had no clothes on at all, only a towel covered all important places. This made the heroine a little confused, why was Lu Ting Xiao acting so strange again, he should get dressed as soon as possible. The man, in turn, 
did not see anything strange in this, because his clothes were very dirty and he needed to wait until they brought new ones. Soon Lu Xiaobao finished his water procedures, without his pajamas, he looked like a very exact little copy of his father. As soon as the little boy took a few steps, he suddenly slipped on the wet floor and fell forward. The child tried to grab onto something so as not to fall, but only the towel that his father used to cover himself was at hand. This was already going beyond all limits, so Ning Shi simply pretended that she didn't see anything, she walked over to the small treasure to help. Fortunately, Lu Ting Zhao's assistant arrived very quickly, now the aristocrat and his son can finally wear normal clothes. After this, the heroine apologizes to her guests, because she needs to go to an audition for a very important role. She would love to sit with them more, but now there is no time, Lu Ting Xiao, in turn, offers her help, they should go together. In fact, this was unnecessary, Ning Shi will not have any difficulty getting to the right place with her car, they probably have a lot to do without it. The aristocrat explained that, first of all, this was needed for the boy, the little treasure just wanted to stay with the girl a little longer. Apparently the heroine simply cannot refuse, the boy once again approached her and looked at her with a charming look. Because of this, the girl's maternal instincts awakened again, her heart was immediately filled with love and tenderness. Suddenly a very loud sound was heard, it turned out that someone shot an arrow right at their window, because of this the glass shattered into small pieces. First of all, Ning Shi tried to protect the boy from the fragments, she pressed him to her and covered him with her body. Fortunately, they both remained unharmed, the arrow pierced the window and fell a few meters away from them, without hitting anyone. In fact, there were several shooters, two men were in the neighboring building, most likely they are members of that same dangerous gang. A few seconds later, a lot of arrows flew through the window, the villains realized that they had failed to eliminate the target and made several more attempts. At the same time, the heroine had no idea what was happening in her apartment now, she was an ordinary aspiring actress, why were they trying to kill her so hard? To find out, the girl turned to Lu Ting Xiao and asked if he knew these people and the reason why they do such terrible things. However, there was no time for that now, first of all we need to find some kind of shelter, Ning Shi sharply pushed her journal historian with her foot. In such a situation, this was the best solution, the furniture helped them hide from many arrows, this way they could gain at least a little time. At some point, one of the arrows pierced the wood and wounded the girl's hand, just a little more and the shell would have hit the little boy. This could no longer continue, the aristocrat asked the girl if everything was okay with her, they needed to get out of here as soon as possible. Despite the injury, everything was fine with the heroine, she suggested they go to the kitchen, there was a pantry in which they could hide. While the villains were reloading their weapons, Ning Shi and her guests took advantage of the moment, the heroes quickly moved to another room. Now the shooters could not see them in any way, Everyone was safe here and could wait out the attack of the villains. All this time the girl was holding a small treasure in her arms, the boy was trembling very much with fear, because even though he was only a few years old, but he has already experienced a lot of bad moments, now the heroine will never let him be offended, she will make every effort to protect him. Hearing this, the little treasure calmed down a little and nodded approvingly, Lu Xiaobao was already behaving like a real man. Soon the villains realized that they would not be able to eliminate the target, they stopped shooting for a while, can Lu Ting Xiao explain what happened here? The man completely blamed himself for what happened, because solely because of his carelessness, the little treasure was stolen a second time. Could this really be the same gang that tried to steal Lu Xiaobao, but why do these villains want to harm the aristocrat so badly? Unfortunately, everything was much worse. Lu Ting Xiao explained to the heroine that this time the villains had come to take her life. It was incredibly strange, Ning Shi didn't even believe the man's words at first, because she had never done anything bad to anyone. The main problem was that the girl saved Lu Xiao Bao from the second kidnapping, now the gang is trying to take revenge on her. It turned out that the shooters were still in their positions, they somehow managed to discover the shelter where their target was hiding. Thanks to her incredible reaction, Ning Shi managed to save Lu Ting Xiao from a direct hit, and then grabbed the arrow with her bare hands. From the outside it all looked simply incredible, the girl definitely has enormous talent, now she literally saved the life of another person. After that, the attackers ran out of shells, now they will have to retreat, today they were unable to complete the mission. For several minutes there was complete silence in the girl's apartment, 
it was better for the heroes to wait a while and make sure that the danger had passed. Soon this terrible situation is finally over. Ningxi informs the others that everything is fine now and they can go out. Suddenly the girl notices that the man and his little son are looking at her very strangely, this behavior confused her a little. Although she saved them once again, but now she doesn't want to receive some strange reward, last time was enough. Lu Jingli found out about what had happened very quickly, the guy arrived at the scene as quickly as he could, he was very worried about the heroes. Fortunately, no one was hurt. If you don't take into account Ning Shi's destroyed apartment, this attack went completely without a trace. After such an event, Lu Ting Xiao simply cannot leave the heroine unattended. Now she needs to pack her things and go with them. The younger brother completely agreed with this, because this gang of villains is very unpredictable, they can attack at any moment. Ning Shi already understood this, but she still didn't want to move into their mansion, but in the end she agrees to spend the night there one more time. Soon evening came. The girl took the remaining things from the apartment and went to the aristocrat's house, now she wanted to finish her business and sleep. Suddenly the owner of the house came into her room, the heroine did not expect to see him here, after all, she considered this room her personal space. Therefore, she was a little embarrassed and asked Lu Ting Xiao what he was doing here, if he had something to do, then they better discuss everything tomorrow. In response to this, the man calmly said that, by the way, this is their common room, it is better for them to continue to play the role of a strong married couple. The heroine will definitely not agree to this, who would even want to sleep with such an eccentric in the same room, she would rather go to the little treasure. After this, events are transferred to the cultural center, where yesterday auditions were held for an important female role in a new popular film. Unfortunately, Ning Shi was unable to arrive on time due to previous events, but she still decided to try her luck. First of all, the heroine apologized to the project management for her lateness, and after that she introduced herself and stated the purpose of her visit. One of the directors politely asked the girl to leave, because the time had long run out, now there was no point in staying for the sake of one candidate. Even so, the heroine did not back down, she knew that they could not find a suitable actress, so they should think again. After all, she is ideal for such an important female role, at that moment, incredibly powerful energy emanated from Ning Shi. This kind of temperament can really fit well with the character you want to play, the girl has excellent charisma. The chief director's assistant noticed this, the woman pointed out to the director the beauty's talent, she should definitely be given a chance. In the end, the project management agrees, for now the heroine can return home and get ready, she will be informed about the start of filming. In fact, the assistant director had long wanted to see Ning Shi in an important role, because other actresses had always underestimated her. After some time, Ning Shui Luo's manager informed the girl that the heroine had received an important female role in the upcoming film. The rival couldn't believe it, because the auditions ended yesterday, and besides, in her opinion, Ning Shi is an absolutely mediocre actress. However, it was true, the girl used some special method with which she managed to convince all the leaders. This situation made Ning Shui Luo very angry, and she ordered her manager to immediately make sure that Ning Shi lost her job. In turn, Chang noted that it would be difficult to pull this off, because no other candidates could be found, and the director also liked the heroine. If the manager had known about this earlier, she would probably have destroyed Ning Shi's attractive face at the first opportunity. If difficulties really arise with this, then Ning Shui Luo will not worry too much, let the heroine herself disgrace herself in the first scene. Next, events move to Ning Shi's apartment, she wanted to go back and rest a little, too many strange events have happened lately. At some point, the girl gets the feeling that she forgot about something important, but she couldn't remember what exactly. The heroine continued to switch channels on the TV in search of an interesting program, suddenly she saw Lu Ting Xiao on the screen. Meanwhile, in the aristocrat's house, several people were sitting at the table, the man's parents came to stay for a while. At the same time, the little boy looked very sad, he did not pay attention to those around him and just looked at the screen of his phone. The day before, Ning Shi told him that she had very important work to do, but she would definitely return to him in a few hours. Apparently this is exactly what the heroine tried to remember, but because of fatigue, the girl forgot that she promised the child to return. His grandmother had already been told that the little treasure was waiting for a call from her beautiful aunt, so the woman wondered who Ning Shi was. The owner of the house simply remained silent in his usual manner, 
and Lu Jingli replied as usual that the heroine was actually the older brother's girlfriend. The aristocrat's parents couldn't believe it, had their son finally found a partner, they wanted to know as much as possible about it. However, it was very difficult to get the man to talk, he did not even want to answer his mother's direct question and remained silent again. This behavior began to irritate, the woman asked her stupid son to say at least something why he was acting like a fool. In the end, Lu Ting Xiao finally confirmed his younger brother's words, he was truly lucky to meet his soulmate. When his mother heard this, she was very happy, but she had another important question, whether her son was really dating a woman. Did even those closest to him doubt his sexuality? The man no longer wanted to talk about it, he was tired of repeating the same thing. Of course, it was a girl, and an incredibly beautiful one at that, and Lu Ting Xiao and the little treasure had become very attached to her. This was a real blessing, the woman could not believe her happiness, finally her dear son would be happy. Lu Ting Xiao, in turn, asked his mother to calm down a little, because they met only recently, no one knows what will happen next. In fact, the woman no longer listened to him, she was so happy that she promised the boy to take him to the heroine as soon as he finished his food. After this, the child immediately smiled, he just needs to finish his dinner, after which he will be able to see his older sister again. While the boy was waiting for a call from Ning Shi, she was simply sleeping on the couch at home, at some point the girl tried to roll over and fell to the floor. Only after that the heroine looked at her watch and suddenly remembered that she had completely forgotten to call the little treasure. And all this time the child continued to carefully look at the screen of his phone, when he saw the incoming call, he was very happy. At first, no one said anything into the phone, so the heroine could not understand whether it was Lu Xiao Bao who was really talking to her. Luckily, the little treasure had a modern phone with which you can communicate via video, all you need to do is press one button. Now they could finally talk, Ning Shi apologized for her inattention and promised to come visit at the first opportunity. And the boy needs to eat more meat, because he is very thin, the girl also asks to convey congratulations to Lu Ting Xiao, the boy's father was even shown on TV today. This is where their conversation ended, the heroine needs to get a good night's sleep before tomorrow, she will never forget about the boy again. Soon after, Lu Xiaobao took his tablet and pencil, he was going to fulfill his big sister's request. The child wrote words of congratulations for his father, who today held successful negotiations that concerned big business. The boy finally began to smile, Lu Ting Xiao thanked his son for the congratulations, the man also looked happy lately. After some time, the whole family sat down at the table to have dinner, this time the child ate with great appetite, his grandmother was even a little surprised. After all, the boy even ate carrots, which he always hated, at this rate he can soon fully recover. Also, the parents noticed changes in their scene, the owner of the house also began to smile more often, this is definitely connected with the heroine. The man believed that now it was better for them not to interfere, but the woman had already learned everything from Lu Jingli, in his opinion, the elder brother wants to marry Ning Shi. If this really happens, then the parents will no longer need to worry about their grandson, because they became very good friends with the girl. Now the woman wants to prepare a gift for her future daughter-in-law, let it be a family dinner, it can be held next week. To be honest, the man didn't really want to rush things, but his wife was not one of those people who could be easily convinced. The next day, Ning Shi corresponded with her old acquaintance, and from their dialogue it became clear that they had previously been in a relationship. But for some reason they broke up, Despite this the guy and girl remained good friends and were now exchanging funny messages. Soon they finished their correspondence, as soon as the girl closed her laptop, she saw that Lu Jingli was calling her. For some reason, he was very excited and asked the heroine to come to their house as soon as possible, they urgently need her right now. When Ning Shi arrived at the scene, she immediately realized that the problem was again related to the little boy, he missed her very much. But this time everything was even more serious. Lu Xiaobao and his father tried to do their homework, but they failed. As a result, they quarreled, the child cried a lot and immediately ran to his older sister, he wanted her to protect him. The heroine understood that she could not give advice to the owner of this mind, but the man's teaching methods seemed bad to her, the boy was still too young. Lu Jingli completely agreed with the girl, such a child should be treated with care and affection, this is why they called her here. Lu Ting Xiao really wants the heroine to finally move into their house, 
because the little treasure simply cannot live peacefully without her. In fact, Ning Shi didn't think that everything was so serious, and the guy asks to pay attention to how much the boy became attached to her. Their connection could really be seen with the naked eye, in the end the girl agrees, but she has one condition. When the heroine said this, Lu Ting Xiao and his son looked as if they were ready to agree to any concessions as long as their big sister stayed. The main and only condition of the heroine was that no one in this house would ever hint to her about marriage to an aristocrat. From the man's appearance, it was clear that he was a little upset, but Lu Ting Xiao agreed, no one would mention it again. Soon evening came, Ning Shi now looked like a family member, the girl looked into the little treasure's room to see if he had fallen asleep. Suddenly, Lu Ting Xiao approached her from behind, he was acting very strange again, he only had a towel on his body, the man had just gotten out of the shower. Apparently the girl will have to get used to such situations, she tried to behave naturally and told her father that the boy had already fallen asleep. However, at some point the heroine still can't stand it, is the owner of this house really used to walking around in one towel all day, this is not normal. Suddenly the man thought a little, maybe he really should change something, after all, Ning Shi only moved here for the sake of his son. Now the heroine wanted more than anything to go to her room and get some sleep, but when she went inside she was a little surprised. After all, all her things were somehow already here, although the girl didn't ask anyone for this, everything happens too quickly. The owner of the house admitted that this is his initiative, he wants the guest to feel at home, soon a good renovation will be done in her room. In fact, the heroine did not see any particular need for this, she was not going to stay here for several years, perhaps for a couple of months. Lu Ting Xiao reacted calmly to this, no one is going to keep Ning Shi here against her will, she can leave at any time. But at the same time, the man hopes that the girl will do him a favor and take care of the boy, for this she will need the keys to the house. After all, a little treasure often likes to hide in the attic, where you cannot get into without a special key, you need to check this part of the house sometimes. At some point, the heroine asked Lu Ting Xiao to wait a little, does the man really trust her that much, and what if she wants to steal something? The owner of the house never thought about this, the aristocrat knew how to understand people and was sure that Ning Shi was a very kind and decent person. A few hours later, it was deep night, the heroine was a little unusual sleeping in a new place, so she went to the boy. Here she felt much more comfortable and calm, but one thought still haunted her, it was connected with Lu Ting Zhao's behavior. The man treated the heroine like his own wife, he even lent her a car so that the girl could get to work more comfortably. All these things seemed like a wedding gift to Ning Shi, although they are not officially married, they act exactly like a married couple. After some time, the girl finally calmed down and was able to fall asleep, she was helped by thinking that she could help the boy. At some point, Lu Ting Xiao came into their room to check how the little treasure was feeling, fortunately everything was fine. The boy and his older sister looked like mother and son, to be honest, the man really wanted this to be true. For some reason, he felt a strong attachment to Ning Shi, and suddenly he had a great desire to kiss her. Therefore, the owner of the house bent down and approached the heroine at a distance of several centimeters, but at the last moment he changed his mind. After all, in the end, this is wrong, besides, she and Ning Shi still have a lot of time ahead, their feelings must definitely be mutual. The next day passed very calmly, the heroine and the little boy sat peacefully in the living room and did their homework. These two got up earlier than everyone else, because yesterday they fell asleep very early, but Lu Ting Xiao woke up quite recently and only now left the bedroom. The man, as usual, looked a little strange, instead of immediately greeting his son and girlfriend, he simply walked forward. It turned out that the owner of the house was used to kissing his family members in the morning, and Ning Shi did not escape this fate, she also received a kiss on the cheek. The girl thought that she was already accustomed to the man's behavior, but Lu Ting Xiao managed to do more and more strange things each time. Immediately after this, the heroine's phone rang, the manager said that in an hour she had a press conference scheduled in honor of the new film. This made the girl very angry, why did this stupid worker say this so late, how can she manage everything now in such a period of time? In a fit of rage, Ning Shi accidentally said a bad word, so she had to explain to the boy that there was no need to follow her example. Perhaps Lu Ting Xiao can help her, but for this the heroine must stop panicking and calmly explain the whole situation. It turned out that the opening ceremony of the new film would take place in less than an hour, 
the journey to the right place would take fifty minutes, and she had not yet painted. To tell the truth, the man did not see any problem in this, because even without makeup the girl looks just wonderful. Ning Shi was a little embarrassed by the unexpected compliment, sometimes Lu Ting Xiao knows how to act like a real gentleman, it's a pity that this happens very rarely. In fact, she really doesn't want to appear at such an event in her usual form, because her image is essentially part of etiquette. If this is really so important, then the man is happy to help, he has assistance for any occasion. The owner of the house calmly took out his phone and called a good stylist, at that moment he looked like a serious boss doing his business. The opening ceremony of the new film was held in one of the best restaurants in the city, and now everything was ready. The journalists decided not to wait for the heroine and began asking questions, a local TV channel worker picked up the microphone and turned to Ning Shui Luo. First of all, she wanted to know whether there was a romantic relationship between the leading actors, or whether they were together only on camera. In response to this, the girl said that although her colleague on the set is a very attractive guy, her heart is already taken. Her words were also confirmed by the male actor. He knew about Ning Shui Luo's personal life, so their relationship was always friendly. But the next question concerned Ning Shi, the man became interested in why one of the actresses had not yet come to the press conference. The main director reassured everyone and asserted that the girl would arrive very soon, after which everyone would be able to see her beauty and talent. As soon as the man finished speaking, Ning Shi immediately opened the door impressively and walked into the hall, at that moment all eyes were directed at her. And there were reasons for this, because the girl looked simply incredible, every detail of her image fit perfectly into the overall picture. Even her rival felt this effect, Ning Shui Luo was impressed by the heroine's attractiveness, but continued to convince herself that Ning Shi was absolutely useless. After the beauty appeared, all questions were addressed exclusively to her, reporters wanted to know who the designer of the beautiful dress was. Because of the enormous attention, the girl felt a little uneasy, she was simply not used to being approached by so many people at once. At some point, the heroine even became a little scared, she could not even imagine that this press conference would be so difficult. The next question concerned whether the girl had acted in other films before, or whether this was her first role in a major work. Ning Shui Luo did not allow the heroine to answer normally, she immediately told the reporter that this was Ning Shi's first serious film. This arrogant behavior of her rival greatly angered the heroine, so she decided to demonstrate her talent to everyone around her. The girl picked up the microphone and confidently spoke almost all the phrases that belonged to her heroine from the future film. This performance made a good impression on the journalists, even the chief director appreciated Ning Shi's oratorical qualities. Soon the press conference ended, today the heroine managed to show her best side, but this is only the beginning of her journey. Suddenly the manager approached her, the woman was clearly dissatisfied with something, it seemed to her that the girl was behaving too arrogantly. Ning Shi, in turn, did not pay attention to this, because she had not done anything wrong, the journalists themselves began to ask her a lot of questions. This behavior angered Chang even more, she advised the heroine to behave more decently, because Ning Shui Luo would not forgive this. Was the rival really so offended that she sent her assistant to deal with Ning Shi, it actually looks very funny. After the press conference, a dinner was planned, at which all the actors and project managers should be present, the leading male actor noticed an interesting detail. Two beauties from their cast had the same last name, when the heroine heard this, she was very upset, although she tried to hide it. After some time, Ning Shui Luo finally joined them, she was walking with some man, most likely he is her father. This indeed turned out to be true, the director and actor greeted Mr. Ning, they were very flattered by his presence. The man believed that such formalities were unnecessary, the main thing was that his dear daughter was in good hands and would be able to fully reveal her talent. At some point, Mr. Ning notices Ning Shi, with all his appearance he demonstrated that he was unpleasant to be in the same room with her. The girl, in turn, reciprocated, her gaze was incredibly cold, she sincerely hated this man. After all, in the distant past, the heroine's father and mother abandoned her, because of this she had to go abroad, Ning Shi still finds it difficult to come to terms with this. Due to the meeting with a relative, the heroine's mood deteriorated, she decided to simply go out into the corridor to retire there. While the girl waited alone for the evening to end, memories of her father praising Ning Shui Luo surfaced in her head. These two looked like a happy family, it was very unfair, 
because the heroine did nothing wrong, but at the same time her parents abandoned her. Soon the man followed her out, he clearly wanted to talk to Ning Shi about something, and his gaze was very stern. The girl was the first to start a dialogue, she became interested in why the man was looking at her so carefully, others might misunderstand everything. In response to this, the man ordered his daughter to shut up in a rude voice, in his opinion, she was just an ill-mannered creature who did what she wanted. Despite such a terrible attitude, the heroine still continued to behave very reservedly, she was no longer going to worry about such trifles. And in general, Mr. Ning should not teach someone morality, first of all he needs to look at himself, is the man really so insensitive? Because of these words, the girl's father fell into a rage, now he wanted to hit his daughter with all his might, he really acted like a scoundrel. Today he should learn one lesson, Ning Shi will no longer tolerate all his bullying, now the girl is able to stand up for herself. And if her father wants to hit her again, he will have to try hard. The main reason for the man's anger was that the heroine did not want to give up her role in the film, he felt a sense of shame because of this. To his great regret, Ning Shi has every right to manage his own affairs, his father should just come to terms with it. In fact, the heroine understood that Mr. Ning was sent here by Ning Shui Luo, they wanted to force her out of the film with all their might. After this, the girl calmly turns around and walks away, thanks to her life experience she was able to become much stronger. After some time, her rival came to Ning Shi's hotel room, she learned about the recent conversation very quickly. Ning Shui Luo wanted to visit her half-sister as soon as possible in order to mock her a little, because their father was incredibly angry right now. This time the rival came with good intentions, she is going to give the heroine a second chance, for this Ning she must disappear forever. If the girl refuses the role in the new film and ceases to catch the eye of Mr. Ning, she will receive a monetary reward. Soon Ning Shui Luo's fiancé came to their room, the girl immediately rushed to him with hugs, she did not expect to see him here. As it turned out, it started to rain heavily outside, so the guy felt a little uneasy and decided to find his beloved. Only after this does Yang Gij notice that the heroine with whom they were previously in a relationship is also in this room. Ning Shi actually didn't want to talk to this person, so she just took her purse and was about to leave. As soon as the heroine headed towards the exit, Yang Gij asked her to wait a little, it seemed to him that the girl was being too dramatic. In addition, the heroine drank too much alcohol tonight, in this state it is better to stay here and wait out the heavy rain. Even Ning Shui Luo dissuaded her half-sister, now the weather outside is very bad, it will be very difficult to catch a taxi. Suddenly a very expensive car stopped near them, the car belonged to Lu Ting Xiao, he began to worry about Ning Shi. Therefore, he decided to come for her personally, the aristocrat took an umbrella and headed to the main entrance of the hotel. Because of the heavy rain, it became very cold outside, they need to go home as soon as possible, no one wants the girl to catch a cold. Ning Shui could not believe that the famous aristocrat was really dating the heroine, it was simply impossible. Soon Ning Shi was already in the mansion, the man was trying to find out from her why the girl was so drunk, she could barely stand on her feet. Unfortunately, he could not get an answer to his question because at some point the heroine became very ill, the girl ran to the restroom. After about half an hour, the owner of the house decided to check how Ning Shi was feeling, because quite a lot of time had passed. It turned out that the girl was lying on the floor in the bathroom and talking all sorts of nonsense, she repeated words over and over again about how strong her character was. Lu Ting Xiao immediately decided to help, now the heroine needs to be taken to her room, in this state it is useless to talk to her about anything. As soon as the man took Ning Shi in his arms, she suddenly woke up, for some reason the girl could not understand who was holding her in his arms. Apparently she drank so much alcohol that she couldn't recognize Lu Ting Xiao, the girl began to scold him and said that this was actually a women's restroom. Therefore, it is better for the man to leave here, otherwise the heroine will call the police, and his behavior can be regarded as harassment. In order to somehow reassure the heroine, the owner of the house asked her what he needed to do so that the girl would finally believe him. If a man really wants to prove his sincerity, then he should give Ning Shi some of his documents right now. In fact, this request sounded like complete nonsense, it seemed that the beauty was simply mocking Lu Ting Xiao. But it seems that now he had no choice, the man had to take his passport out of his wallet, the heroine began to carefully examine it. Only after this did the girl believe the owner of the house, he really didn't lie to her, 
maybe at least now she will go to the room with him. Unfortunately, even after this, Ningxi did not want to leave the toilet, this time she felt that the man was being too strict. This behavior began to irritate Lu Tingxiao very much, and in the end he decides to return the heroine to her room in the simplest way. In the end, it turned out that the girl ended up in the man's arms, he asked her to stop the hysteria, Ning Shi needed to come to her senses. The heroine was a little scared, because of this she began to have severe hiccups, most likely this happened from a large amount of alcohol. When Lu Ting Xiao noticed this, he felt sorry for the girl and apologized, he should not have acted so rudely towards her. Suddenly, Ning Shi began to loudly scold the owner of the house, in her opinion, he acted very indecently, no one allowed him to take her in his arms. After that, Lu Ting Xiao grabbed the heroine's hand tightly, the man was tired of the beauty's stupid behavior, after all, he was doing this only for her good. At some point they came close to each other, now a special connection appeared between them, they looked like a couple in love. This whole situation ended with a tender kiss, Lu Ting Xiao could no longer continue to hide his feelings, he wanted to express them somehow. Most of all, this situation surprised Jing Li and his little nephew, all this time they stood outside the door and eavesdropped on the heroes. Ning Shi, in turn, did not at all expect that Lu Ting Xiao would kiss her, so she did not even fully understand what had just happened. The aristocrat thus tried to prove the seriousness of his intentions, he really wants to connect his life with the heroine. Unfortunately, the girl is unlikely to remember this situation tomorrow morning, because she was heavily intoxicated. In fact, this is even good, the owner of the house also considered the kiss too impulsive, it would be better if everyone forgets about it. Now they should finally return to Ning Shi's room, she needs to change clothes and go to bed as soon as possible. Subsequently, the owner of the house realized that his younger brother had overheard everything, which made Lu Jingli feel a little awkward. Eventually the brothers were convinced that the heroine and the little treasure were okay, both of them sleeping peacefully in their rooms. And the guy also told his older brother that he had to spend a lot of effort in order to calm down Lu Xiaobao. He even showed the bite marks that the boy left on his arm, when this child is dissatisfied with something, it is very difficult to deal with him. However, this did not make any impression on Lu Ting Xiao, he silently turned around and went to his room, does he really care about his little brother? After some time, the relatives went into the living room and talked about the press conference that had taken place, the eldest was interested in how it all went. Lu Jingli said that everything was just great, Ning Shi made an incredible impression on the reporters and directors. The younger brother also spoke about the situation with the heroine's parents and Lu Ting Xiao, the man was very unpleasant to listen to this terrible story. At some point, Ting Xiao noticed that his older brother began to look very gloomy, apparently worried about the fate of Ning Shi. Meanwhile, the girl was sleeping peacefully in her bed, now she was having a very strange dream that concerned her ex-boyfriend. In it, she asked Yang Gij not to leave and give her another chance, but the guy said that he should return to Ning Shui Luo. Immediately after this, the heroine sharply opened her eyes, in the past this situation happened to her in the real world, she would really like to forget everything. But unfortunately, such thoughts haunt her all the time, and this is not the first time the girl has seen this stupid dream. Soon Ting Xiao came into her room, he heard that the heroine had woken up and decided to make sure that everything was okay with her. In response to this, Ning Shi began to complain that for some reason almost her entire body hurt, did she really get into a fight with someone yesterday? It seems that the heroine really didn't remember anything, so the owner of the house had to explain everything to her, in fact, nothing like that happened. But then why does the girl feel so bad? she asked Lu Ting Xiao to tell everything in great detail. The answer turned out to be very simple, Ning Shi overdid it with alcohol and lay on the floor in the restroom for almost an hour, the man had to carry her into the room in his arms. When the heroine heard this, she felt very ashamed of her behavior, she sincerely asked for forgiveness and promised not to do it again. Lu Ting Xiao convinced her that everything was fine, but he wanted to know why the girl drank so much alcohol. To be honest, Ning Shi didn't want to talk about it at all, and besides, it seemed to her that no one in this world could understand her feelings. After all, she sacrificed a lot to get an important role in the new film, and now they are trying to kick her out of the project. In addition, the girl was truly happy for the first time in a very long time, but it seems that she will not be allowed to truly express herself. Her feelings were very sincere, the aristocrat instantly felt it and tried to calm the heroine down, 
she shouldn't worry so much. After all, she has already done a lot of work, now she should rely on Lu Tingxiao, from now on he will not allow anyone to bully her. After that, Ning Shi unexpectedly fell asleep right in the man's arms, she woke up only a few hours later. Now she needs to somehow find a lot of money, the only way she can keep her role in the upcoming film. At the same time, the girl does not want to ask Lu Ting Xiao for such a sum, so she has only one option, she must write to her old friend. Unfortunately, an acquaintance recently invested all his money in the construction of a winery, so he will only be able to help in three days. Because of the hopeless situation, the heroine called the manager and asked how things were, but Chang didn't even want to talk to her and hung up. Now Ning she had only one option, she dialed the director's number and tried to find out if she had a chance to keep her place in the project. The man told her good news, just a few hours ago, a large investor appeared who contributed the required amount in her place. At first, Ning she didn't even believe it, she believed that her father was the main and only sponsor of the upcoming film. However, the director really spoke the truth, now the heroine needs to prepare very well for future filming. Suddenly, Lu Xiaobao ran into the girl's room. The boy was not yet fully awake, but at the same time he already wanted to see his older sister. At this moment, Ning Shi was very happy, she grabbed the child tightly and began to kiss him, today the girl felt like a real star. Lu Ting Xiao wondered what made the girl so happy, the heroine told the man that they helped her with her role in the film. This was indeed very good news, but now there was a small problem of who would look after the little treasure while Ning Shi was working. The next day, filming had already started. One of the scenes in the film was about how subordinates came to the great emperor. Everything worked out on the first try, the chief director was very pleased with Ning Shi's work, she turned out to be even more talented than he thought. The heroine had the role of a young princess, during filming she had to wear a wig, because the character had long dark hair. Her talent was appreciated not only by the main director, everyone on the set was impressed, no one could have thought that she would do it so well. In fact, it was quite unpleasant. Did everyone around think that the girl didn't know how to do anything at all and wasn't capable of anything? At some point, Jan Gij came to the set, he brought a lot of ice cream with him and was going to treat everyone present. When Ning Shi looked at him, memories of events that happened several years ago began to pop up in her head. Five years ago, she and this guy met, he often invited the girl to picnics and treated her to food that he prepared himself. Unfortunately, their relationship did not last long. When Lu Jingli found out that they were a couple, she immediately wanted to take Yang Gij away from her half-sister. The guy, in turn, did not want this at first, he liked to communicate with Ning Shi, the heroine turned out to be a very sweet and kind girl. When Ning Shui Luo realized that she couldn't do it that easily, she came up with a plan in her head with which she could humiliate Ning Shi. The very next day, the heroine's father scolded his daughter very much. He had never been so ashamed of a family member. At the same time, Ning Shui Luo cried and pretended that she was very sorry, she claimed that it was all her fault. In fact, this was all just part of the show, Ning Shi's mother also believed that the heroine herself was to blame for everything. It turned out that the girl put on the things that her sister recommended to her, they turned out to be fake, because of this, her parents got very angry with her. Ning Shi tried to justify herself, but her father did not want to hear anything, now the girl had no right to be in this house. It was after this incident that the heroine had to go abroad for several years, while Ning Shui Luo did not feel any guilt at all. And she tried to pretend that there was still a good relationship between the sisters, Ning Shi, in turn, did not even want to talk to her. After all, the heroine was not only kicked out of the house because of Ning Shui Luo, but she also started dating Yang Gij while the girl was in another country. Now Lu Jingli began to worry because her half-sister had a friend who has great influence and a lot of money. The girl knew that an anonymous investor had invested a large sum in the film, his only condition was Ning Shi's participation in the project. After some time, a courier came to the set, in his hands was a huge bouquet of red roses and a small red box. It turned out that these gifts were intended for the heroine. The delivery worker said her name in a loud voice and asked her to sign. In fact, the girl had no idea who sent her these things, most likely it was the same person who donated a lot of money for the film. Inside the small red box there was a huge diamond, it was very strange, we definitely need to find out who is behind all this. To do this, Ning Shi took her phone and called Lu Ting Xiao, 
because it was quite possible that the aristocrat was the one who did this. Meanwhile, the man was working in his office as usual, when asked about gifts, he replied that he had not sent the girl flowers and a diamond. Now he also became interested, perhaps he had a competitor, Lu Ting Xiao would never give up his beloved to someone else. Together with his younger brother, the man went to the girl, so far they did not know who was the person who began to court Ning Shi. They only knew that the mysterious stranger had met the heroine in the past. Lu Jingli recently learned about this, but unfortunately he was unable to find out anything else. His older brother thought that the guy was not telling something, but in fact there was no point in accusing him of incompetence. Soon the aristocrat called one of his employees, this man could help deal with any resident of the city. The younger brother began to worry a little, because if someone gets hurt, the situation could get out of control. Despite this, the man was determined, he told the driver to speed up, they needed to get to the studio within half an hour. However, there may be some difficulties with this, right now their car was in a very big traffic jam, walking would be faster. Meanwhile, Ning Shi's work day had ended, today she was very tired and wanted to get home quickly, the easiest way would be to use the subway. As soon as the heroine headed towards the nearest station, a black car, driven by Jan Gij, suddenly stopped in front of her. The guy just wanted to help his old friend get home, there was no point in using inconvenient public transport. Ning Shi is already quite tired of all these situations with ex-boyfriends, it's a pity that there is no service that would allow her to get rid of them. Yang Gij noticed that the heroine did not want to get into his car, but he still continued to stand his ground, they simply misunderstood each other. At some point, the girl stopped and replied that she had no desire to talk to the traitor who left her for another. When the guy heard these words, he became very angry, in his opinion it did not matter, he was even ready to apologize. Does Yang Gij really expect forgiveness, even after Ning Shui Luo repeatedly abused the girl? It turned out that the guy always considered his bride a good person, because that situation many years ago was a common misunderstanding. After this, Ning Shi finally wanted to end this dialogue, she was disgusted to listen to such a fool, he should get away. Suddenly, Yang Gij realized that he had offended his ex-girlfriend very much, he tried to apologize, but she no longer listened to him. As soon as the guy finished his sentence, another car crashed into his car, Apparently in this way the aristocrat was trying to scare Yang Gij. Now Lu Ting Xiao wanted to take the hero with him and go to the mansion as soon as possible, they need to properly discuss this situation. The appearance of a famous aristocrat slightly surprised the guy, he asked the girl if she was really dating this man. The heroine could not believe that her ex-boyfriend still dared to contact her, her personal life should not worry him at all. Subsequently, Lu Ting Xiao and the heroine leave, the man held the girl's hand, he really had strong feelings for her. Even after that, Yang Gij didn't want to let his ex-girlfriend go, he opened the doors of his car and asked her to wait a little. However, he was immediately stopped by Lu Jingli, who handed him his elder brother's business card and explained where to go for compensation. Because of this whole situation, the guy thought that Ning Shi'd sold herself to a rich aristocrat, and in return received a large amount of money and a role in the film. When the heroes got into the car, the girl first asked why Lu Ting Xiao and his brother came to her so quickly. With his entire appearance, the aristocrat made it clear that he was unpleasant when other men were courting a girl, he was very jealous. The heroine, in turn, asked him why this bothered him so much, this behavior was very strange, because they were not even in a relationship. Suddenly the man admitted that in fact he really wants all the heroine's ex-boyfriends to disappear from this world forever. Such words made a great impression on Ning Shi, she couldn't imagine that Lu Ting Xiao was really so serious. Soon the heroes returned to the mansion, the boy immediately ran to his older sister and hugged her tightly. Today he behaved very well, the child ate all his dinner, and also received a message from Ning Shi, so he knew that she would come. As a reward, the girl kisses Lu Xiao Bao on the cheek, he really behaved like an exemplary child today. The boy tried to kiss his older sister back, but he didn't succeed, his father suddenly grabbed him by the clothes, and raised him high above the ground, the man also asked Ning Shi to first go to the bathroom and take a shower, she had a very difficult day today. The strange behavior of the owner of the house once again surprised the girl, but she decided not to argue and simply went to the restroom. It turned out that the aristocrat was so jealous that he did not even let his little treasure kiss her, she was only his wife. In fact, it was very mean, 
because at first the man used the boy to lure Ning Shi into their house, and now he does not allow them to communicate. Soon evening came, the heroine went to her room and took off her clothes, she wanted to quickly get into bed and fall asleep. Suddenly, the door to her room was opened by Lu Ting Xiao, the situation turned out to be very awkward, because the girl at that moment was without clothes. In order to somehow fix this, the man closed the door and turned in the other direction, he didn't want to peek at Ning Shi at all. And the heroine, in turn, began to scold him in a very loud voice, had the owner of the house really not been taught as a child to knock before entering? After a while, the girl calmed down and came out to Lu Ting Xiao, if he has some important business, then he must explain everything. In fact, the man simply brought dinner directly to the heroine's room, he wanted to make a good impression and take care of the girl. After this, it became clear to the heroine that even if she did not react to Lu Ting Xiao, he would still look after her. If this is really the case, then she does not mind, but a man must remember one thing well, he cannot just enter her room. In the end, the girl thanked Lu Ting Xiao for dinner and wished him good night, she tried to hide the anger on her face. And she loudly closed the front door, the owner of the house, in turn, believed that she would soon become his wife, so there was nothing bad in this situation. The next day, filming continued again, Ning Shi played her role perfectly as always, and everything else the actors also tried their best. Now the weather was very hot outside, suddenly a little girl approached the heroine, she had a small basket in her hands. Ning Shi loved children very much, she politely turned to the child and asked what the little girl had brought in her small basket. It turned out that there were three bottles of cool drinks inside, they were intended for the girl. To be honest, the heroine did not expect such a gift, the first thing she thought was that someone was trying to poison her in this way. However, the little girl explained that the juice was personally made by her little friend and included watermelon and green bean flavors. This answer surprised Ning Shi even more, at first she couldn't understand what kind of little friend the girl was talking about. Everything became clear after the heroine saw a small note inside the basket, it turned out that Lu Xiaobao decided to give Ning Shi a gift. The girl was very grateful to the young master for his attention, the only strange thing was that he decided to send his friend. Meanwhile, there was talk on the set that the heroine was dating guys for money, because she was constantly receiving gifts. At some point, Ning Shui Luo approached her and asked how she managed to do this, someone even sent cold juice in hot weather. In response to this, Ning Shi said that she was not interested in gossip, and the person who sent her drinks was actually an ordinary friend. However, the rival, of course, did not believe it, the girl pretended that she was very jealous of the heroine, she just wanted to freshen up too. After their dialogue, those around her began to believe even more strongly that Ning Shi was actually a cunning fox who had seduced several men at once. When Ning Shui Luo noticed this, she decided to take advantage of the moment, she played the role of a good sister and tried to refute all the rumors. Despite this, the heroine continued to behave absolutely calmly, she was not interested in stupid rumors and false gossip. Soon, ordinary conversations turned into bad actions, today an unpleasant incident happened to Ning Shi. When the girl was calmly walking down the steps, her rival tripped her, causing the girl to trip and injure her leg. Do they really think they can defeat the heroine with such pitiful actions, they should just forget about it. After some time, Ning Shi was once again approached by her ex-boyfriend, he apologized for the previous incident and asked if he could talk to her. The heroine could not believe her eyes, why this fool came to her again, whether he was afraid of jealousy on the part of his future wife. In turn, Yang Gij claimed that he came just to talk, in the end the girl said that she would be free in half an hour. After a short period of time, they went to a private room in a nearby restaurant, Yang Gij ordered the heroine's favorite dishes. First of all, the ex-boyfriend wanted to know why the girl returned to him all the money that he had sent her for five years. After that, Yang Gij took out a small piece of paper from his jacket pocket, it turned out to be a check for 8 million yuan. The heroine reacted very coldly, she could not understand what it all meant and what the guy was trying to convey in this way. In fact, Yang Gij wanted to help his friend, he doesn't want Ning Shi to do things that she might be ashamed of in the future. It was very strange, the heroine still couldn't understand what the guy meant, it turned out that Yang Gij still considered Ning Shi a call girl. In response to this, the heroine laughed, had her ex-boyfriend really started to worry about her, but why did he start doing this only now? From what he heard, Yang Gij got angry, it seemed to him that the heroine was simply mocking them, 
had she really become such a bad person. The heroine was tired of listening to this nonsense, so she simply picked up a glass of water and threw it straight at her ex-boyfriend. This behavior really surprised Yang Gij, he believed that he was doing the right thing, so he could not understand why his ex-girlfriend did this. Apparently Ning Shui Luo and her fiancé are still counting on forgiveness, but this will not happen even in the next life. After that, Ning Shi turns around and leaves, these two should stop their stupid attempts. As soon as the heroine left the restaurant, an aristocrat's car immediately drove up to her, the man seemed to be watching her all the time. When the car windows rolled down, it became clear that Lu Jingli was driving, and his older brother asked the girl to get in quickly. Ning Shi wondered if Lu Ting Xiao should not be at work right now, in response to which the man said that he was the boss, and therefore he can come to work whenever he wants, later it turned out that the aristocrat put a special beacon in Ning Shi's bag. It is in this way that he manages to find the heroine anywhere in the city, Lu Ting Xiao explained this with ordinary concern. Meanwhile, bad rumors about the girl have already spread beyond the set, and now the gossip has moved to the internet. Some group of people began to spread lies on social networks, this topic became the most popular for the entire week. Even Lu Jingli noticed this, the guy could not understand why so many people were spreading false rumors. In fact, everything is very simple, the girl was sure that the loser simply took the chance to mock her. Suddenly the man abruptly snatched the phone from the hands of his younger brother, he also became interested and wanted to see what was the matter. Such people will spread any nonsense just to humiliate someone, so there is no point in worrying about such stupidity. This is exactly how the girl reasoned, Lu Jingli agreed with her, it's not for nothing that they say that such fools have a keyboard instead of brains. After this, his older brother hints to the guy that he probably needs to go to work, he said that he has a lot to do today. Apparently the aristocrat wanted Lu Jingli to leave quickly and leave him alone with the girl, in the end the brother says goodbye and leaves for his own business. After a while, the heroes went to the house, Ning Shi opened her laptop to see how many people were still spreading false rumors. The situation turned out to be really very unpleasant, if the man had not known the heroine personally, he himself would have believed in all this nonsense. To help somehow, the aristocrat asked the heroine if she needed help, he could make this news disappear from the internet forever. The girl wondered if Lu Ting Xiao was really ready to do such an act just for her sake, after all, it would be very difficult. In response to this, the man nodded his head approvingly, he did not see anything strange in this, he just wants Ning Shi to be happy. The heroine was a little embarrassed by this answer, despite his strange behavior, the aristocrat really knows how to give compliments. As a result, the girl thanked the owner of the house and said that she wanted to go to her room, every day their relationship was becoming warmer. In fact, Ning Shi is not very happy about this, in her opinion everything is happening too quickly, and she is not yet ready to start a relationship with someone. The next day she had planned filming, and finally she took the little treasure in her arms and promised him that she would return soon. The boy promised to behave well with a gesture, and for several days in a row he has been acting like an ordinary happy child. In order to somehow show his love and care, Lu Xiaobao constantly made juice from various fruits for the heroine. When his father first saw multicolored jars with an unknown liquid, he thought that his son was trying to poison someone. Only after some time did the man realize that the jars actually contained the juice that the boy was preparing for Ning Shi. Today the family doctor came to see them, it turned out that Lu Xiaobao's condition is improving every day, and he is always in a good mood. This man's name was Qin Mu, he has been working as a doctor for this family for many years, he wondered how Lu Ting Xiao was doing. After this, the owner of the house talked to the doctor for a long time about the events that had happened to him over the past few weeks. Qin Mu couldn't believe his ears, had the aristocrat really found a new girlfriend, now the little treasure could have a mother. This was indeed the case, Lu Ting Xiao confirmed the family doctor's guesses, after all, the boy should have a full-fledged family. In fact, it was very good, Qin Mu congratulated his old friend, and now he wanted to know everything in great detail. However, the man did not want to talk about it in such detail, he already told the doctor too much, he did not need to know all the details. The reason for Qin Mu's joy was that Lu Ting Xiao had previously been diagnosed with depression, due to which the man suffered greatly. And now his condition has improved greatly, he has found a new love and is trying to arouse mutual feelings in her. 
perhaps they will soon get married. Chin Mu wondered if the owner of the house was looking for him to ask for advice, but the doctor was only needed to check on Lu Xiaobao's condition. If this is really the case, then Lu Ting Xiao should not worry, his son is now in good condition, his health is not in danger. Meanwhile, on the set, everyone was talking about Ning Shi being late, her colleagues thought that the girl was behaving very ugly. Her half-sister, in turn, as usual, played the role of a kind person, she asked those around her not to say such bad things. One of the workers asked Ning Shui Luo why the girl treats Ning Shi so well, because their relationship has always been strained. The other guy absolutely agreed with this, everyone around him thought that Ning Shui Luo was too kind to her half-sister. Right at that moment, the heroine finally arrived on the set, she heard these conversations and asked what bad she had done to them. The main reason for the rumors was an anonymous investor who donated a huge amount of money for the film, everyone believed that the heroine got her role through bed. Ning Shui Luo tried to resolve this conflict. Now there is no point in arguing on this topic, because filming has already begun a long time ago. In fact, the heroine didn't want to quarrel with some fools, besides, they don't have any evidence, it's just meaningless noise. Ning Shui Luo assured her half-sister that no one wanted to slander her honor, she simply misunderstood everything. The heroine knew for sure that her rival was lying to her, but she also did not see any point in this conflict, so she simply calmed down. And after that, the girl, as if nothing had happened, reached out and said that she completely trusted the integrity of her stepsister. After all, how can such a noble and spotless girl slander her relative, along with other annoying gossips. Ning Shui Luo was so angry because of the heroine's calmness that she had to control her anger, she excused herself and went to the dressing room. Meanwhile, the stylist finished doing makeup for the woman who plays an important role in the film, and Ning Shi sat next to her and waited for her turn. At some point, the woman noticed the girl and decided to mock her, couldn't the investor even prepare a personal dressing room for the heroine? This actress's name was Lin Bo, she was very angry at the fact that she was playing with a frivolous girl who got the role for money. And when the heroine simply remained silent, the woman finally lost her temper and ordered an immediate answer to her question. In fact, Ning Shi was simply sitting with headphones on, so there was no point in shouting at her, the makeup artist told the actress about this. Lin Bo only now realized that her actions looked very ridiculous, she wanted to get even, she told her assistant to redo all the makeup. But this request was even more inappropriate, because the stylist did her job perfectly, the woman couldn't even explain what exactly she didn't like. And in the end she simply got up from the chair and left, while even now she continued to insult the heroine in every possible way. It's finally the girl's turn, there are only a few minutes left before the start of filming, so Ning she needs to speed up a little. As soon as the heroine sat down in front of the mirror, she immediately said that she could put on makeup herself, she argued this with her sensitive skin. Their work depends entirely on their appearance, and as compensation for the concern, the girl handed the stylist an envelope with money. After a short period of time, Ning Shi has already finished working on her image, she needs to go to the set as soon as possible. It turned out that her stepsister wanted to ruin her skin with metal powder, to which the heroine is allergic. Meanwhile, at the Lu family mansion, Ting Xiao and her son gathered to go to Ning Shi. The little boy, as usual, prepared his signature juice and put on a nice shirt, he couldn't wait to meet his little sister. But Lu Jingli didn't say anything about this, he asked his younger brother where the two of them were going to go, was it really to the girl's place of work? The man confirmed the guy's guess, the little treasure got bored and asked his father about it, in such cases it is difficult for him to refuse. It seemed to the younger brother that they were acting too frivolously. If they just came to the heroine, even more rumors would begin to circulate. But the hero did not see any problem in this, he is not interested in the stupid conversations of others, and besides, all gossip is a lie. When Lu Jingli realized that he would not be able to convince his relative, he decided to go with him. The guys are really very confident in themselves, Lu Ting Xiao is not even afraid of losing his reputation as a successful young entrepreneur. In one of the scenes of the film, a dance was demonstrated in which several dozen actors participated, the girls moved delicately around the stage. To tease the heroine once again, Lin Bo praised the dancers and said that Ning Shi would never be able to repeat something like that. In response to this, the girl did not say a word, she silently got up from her seat and walked into the center into the premises, 
this was not in the script. The heroine confidently improvised and began to sing the song, she did it so well that no one dared to stop filming. Her rivals couldn't believe their eyes, Ning Shi was able to perfectly perform a very difficult dance, apparently she learned it behind the scenes. The main director was even more impressed than the others, the man looked into the frame and could not take his eyes off, it seemed to him that he had found a precious stone. The leading actor was also impressed, his gaze was directed exclusively at the girl, she charmed him. The heroine's dance ended with her approaching the emperor and hugging him affectionately, uttering words of love. It was at this moment that Lu Ting Xiao came to the sight, he was holding a small treasure in his hands, the hero clearly did not like what he saw. Although the man tried to hide his emotions, it was clear from his gaze that he never wanted to see Ning Shi in this image again. But his younger brother reacted quite calmly, the guy simply praised the girl for her beautiful dance, she is simply magnificent. Suddenly, Lu Jingli noticed that his brother and his son turned around and were about to leave, this was very strange, because they had just come here. Meanwhile, the chief director once again praised Ning Shi for her excellent work. Today they were able to film the scene in the first take. Of course, Lin Bo was furious at the heroine's success, from the outside it might have seemed like an act, but the emotions were real. Moreover, Ning Shui Luo was finally convinced of the failure of her plan, she was nervous and hypocritically admired her half-sister. Also, the girl in the yellow dress scolded the stylist, they also agreed on a plan with metallic powder, why didn't it work out? The worker made excuses and claimed that poison was added to each container, but apparently the heroine used only personal means. Ning Shui Luo completely lost her temper after hearing what she heard, was it really impossible to put metal powder in her sister's clothes? The worker really didn't think about it, the woman asked not to yell at her and promised to do everything exactly like that next time. Despite the failure, the rival was not going to give up, she wants to punish Ning Shi at all costs for her arrogant antics. Meanwhile, the heroine calmly left the set and wanted to go to her personal room, but suddenly someone grabbed her. And he pulled him aside, it turned out that it was Lu Ting Xiao, the man wanted to finally be alone with his beloved woman. Therefore, at the first opportunity, he gently pressed her to him and kissed her passionately, but the girl was very surprised and did not know how to react to this. Quite quickly, Ning Shi came to her senses and immediately broke away from the hero's embrace, why is he acting like a fool, they warn about this in advance. In addition, it was incomprehensible to the girl how an aristocrat could get into this room, because no one except service personnel is allowed here. But Lu Ting Xiao didn't seem to listen to her at all, he gently touched her face and said that he no longer wanted to see the heroine in such scenes. With every minute his behavior turned out to be more and more strange for the heroine, because she should be unhappy in such a situation. In the end, the man asked Ning Shi to never take on the role of a pretty seductress again, he didn't like to see something like that. Probably the man simply doesn't understand how this business works, if a girl refuses to work, her career will quickly end. After this phrase, the man was lost in his thoughts for some time, he really didn't think about it, the situation is more complicated than it seems. Moreover, if Ning Shi leaves show business, she is unlikely to be able to find another job, she is best at looking beautiful on camera. Lu Ting Xiao, in turn, assured that if the girl marries him, then she will not ever have to work at all, he has enough money to provide for her. At this moment, the heroine finally lost her nerve, she wanted to end the dialogue, the man should stop talking nonsense. As soon as the girl turned to leave, Lu Jingli and his little nephew appeared from behind the door, they also wanted to say hello. Lu Xiao Bao immediately ran up to his big sister with a can of juice in his hands, this time he put all his efforts into preparing the drink. Delighted by the appearance of the boy, the heroine hugged him tightly and took him in her arms, did he really come specifically to please her with a gift? In response to this, Lu Xiaobao nodded approvingly and handed the jar of juice into the girl's hands, as always, he looked very cute and funny. His dissatisfied father was standing nearby at this time and watching what was happening from the side, he again had a strong feeling of jealousy. As soon as the little boy approached the heroine in an attempt to kiss her, the man suddenly grabbed him by the clothes and lifted him up. With a surprised expression on her face, the girl was once again convinced that the hero was a real eccentric, could he really be jealous of his son? Holding the child in front of him, Lu Ting Xiao reminded her with a stern expression that only he could kiss Ning Shi. This behavior confused even Lu Jingli, 
so he walked up to the heroine and asked her not to pay attention to it in a quiet voice. After hearing this, the girl began to perceive the situation much calmer, at some point she even began to laugh quietly. Her contented face was quickly noticed by the father and his little son, they turned and began to look at her with serious eyes. Suddenly, Ning Shi remembered that she needed to run to the set, most likely the main director had already gone to look for her. As soon as the heroine thought about this, a loud male voice was heard from another room, he ordered the girl to get up faster. This meant that the actress had to leave, she sincerely thanked Lu Ting Xiao and everyone else for their concern, now she had to go back to filming. Because of this, the little boy began to feel sad, he wanted to spend at least a little more time with his older sister. The heroine noticed this and hurried to reassure Lu Xiao Bao, he must behave well, and she will definitely return to him after work. The man, in turn, with a calm expression on his face, pointed his finger at his cheek, he wanted the girl to kiss him. However, Ning Shi was only embarrassed by such a request, she did not want to do this in front of other people. So the beauty politely waved goodbye to her friends, promising to send them a message as soon as they returned home. It turned out that the director called the beauty only to tell her the good news that a popular actor would be joining them next month. But for some reason the man didn't want to say the guy's name. Because of this, the girl was a little surprised, is this really such secret information? In fact, it's always better to be on the safe side, because there are a lot of people in this place who can spill the beans. At some point, Lin Bo joined the conversation, with an arrogant look, she expressed doubts about the talent of the new actor. In response to this, Ning Shi stated that in their business it is not necessary to have incredible abilities, if a person has a beautiful face, then he will be successful. Perhaps the new colleague will be so handsome that every resident of this city will become his fan, this can already be considered an achievement. The woman took these words as an insult, the stupid girl should understand that a pretty face is not the most important thing. Instead of insulting Lin Bo in return, the heroine said goodbye to Lin Bo with a calm face and told her that she needed to leave early today. This behavior completely infuriated the actress, gritting her teeth with anger, she thought about how she could put her rival in her place. After this, events moved forward one month, Ning Shi had already gotten used to the huge mansion and perceived it as her home. Lu Ting Xiao met her as usual and told her that a new good restaurant had recently opened, they should go there for dinner. Suddenly the girl noticed a feeling of complete peace and tranquility that emanated from the walls of this house, she had already become part of the family. But she still didn't want to get close to the hero, in an excited voice, she politely refused him, because today she needs to go to the airport. And to take one important person from there, the man reacted calmly and said that they could go to dinner any other evening. The owner of the house was still interested in one more question, he wanted to know whether he needed to meet a man or a woman at the airport. In fact, such interest was rather inappropriate, the girl did not want to talk about it, because the man behaved as if they were married. But in the end, Ning Shi sighed heavily and said that an important person is a man, but this is absolutely not important. Lu Ting Xiao also wanted to know when the heroine would return home, if she had any difficulties, he would send his personal car. His girlfriend, meanwhile, was already quickly running to the second floor, she doesn't know exactly what time she'll be back, but she'll definitely call. When the girl was already approaching the exit, she suddenly discovered that the little boy had woken up specifically to see her off. She quickly kissed him on the cheek, he only needs to wait a little, his little sister will be back in a few hours. Soon, Lu Xiaobao noticed that his father looked somewhat gloomy, so his son asked him why he was so unhappy. One day Ning Shi may become someone's wife and will take care of other babies, so that this does not happen, Lu Ting Xiao must marry her. The boy was so upset by what he heard that tears appeared in his eyes, but he very quickly figured out how he could help. Little Treasure immediately picked up the phone and wrote a message to her eldest sisters, despite being busy, the girl answered instantly. The heroine asked Lu Xiaobao not to be sad, because then she would also feel bad, Today she really has a lot to do, but tomorrow she will definitely go to a restaurant. When the man read his friend's message, he began to look even gloomier, he could not understand why she was acting so nice only with his son. Meanwhile, a famous actor arrived at the airport, a bunch of fans already met him in the waiting room, they wanted to see their idol as soon as possible. Mostly, of course, they were young girls, each of them shouted out the handsome guy's name and tried to attract his attention. But despite all their efforts, the actor, whose name was Jiang Mu, 
was in no hurry to reciprocate their feelings, he simply walked past a crowd of loud fans. After which he began to look around, the managers of the project in which he was to star warned that he will meet pretty actress. Suddenly, several girls began to ask the guy to wait a little, because a special fan came to him, she was over 80 years old. It turned out that the old woman specially came to the airport on such a hot day, just to meet the guy, she really likes his work. In fact, the sweet grandmother turned out to be Ning Shi, so as not to attract too much attention, she put on old clothes and put on appropriate makeup. Also, do not forget about the typical behavior of an elderly woman, the heroine began to call Jiang Mu her grandson and stroked his head. The guy was hoping to meet an attractive actress at the airport, but instead he was given an elderly woman, he did not agree to this. Soon they left, and the manager of the popular actor asked the others not to interfere, the grandmother needed to be taken home and they will undertake for that. After some time, they arrived at a rented apartment, the guy took the latest model of the console with him and wanted to play with his girlfriend. But she was busy, the girl first went to the bath to wash off a huge amount of makeup, she had no time for entertainment right now. Suddenly, someone knocked on their door, Jiang Mugave this is of particular significance, he thought that it was his manager who simply forgot to take the keys with him. The knocking did not stop for quite a long time, at some point the handsome man could not stand it and became very angry, if his assistant continued to do this, he would lose his job. As it turned out, Lu Ting Xiao came to visit the famous actor, in fact, he is the guy's uncle. Jiang Mu politely invited his relative to go inside, while the man did not even realize that the heroine was also in this apartment. The guy and his uncle sat down at the table and were simply silent for several seconds, the awkward silence was interrupted by a handsome actor, he asked the little treasure. The man replied that the boy was fine, and the nephew took out a gift from his bag that he had bought especially for Lu Xiaobao. At some point, Lu Ting Xiao heard a sound coming from the bathtub, he asked his nephew if there was anyone else in his house. A guy with a worried look lied to a man about visiting him came old friend, they met more in high school. Soon the hero took a bag with a gift for his son and got ready to leave, in the end he asked his nephew to say hello to his mother. Jiang Mu was already overjoyed and thought that he had managed to hide Ning Shi's presence, but right at that moment the girl came out of the bathroom. She complained in a loud voice about the clothes that her friend lent her, there was a huge hole in the t-shirt, how is it possible walk in such rags? 